Hello everybody, my name is Tomas Lamentez, I'm here for free with Ryan Berg from Road. Hey, welcome to the booth. How are you? Thank you very much. Well, we as videographers, uh, you know, really leverage the Road, uh, everything that Road has been doing for us, mm -hmm. specifically for DSLR shooting. Uh, you guys were one of the first big audio brands that uh, like, saw the movement yeah. of where video was going, you know, with smaller crews, smaller recordings, the recording on DSLR, yeah. and quickly jumped into that and provide, started to provide products that we could use for really increase the quality of video in DSLRs, because as you all know, the audio, that standard audio in DSLR is not what we want not for like video it. production. Yeah. So, you guys have been doing this for eight years now. You know, jumping in there with Canon when they start first, uh, when they first start shooting video for uh, from from the SLRs, yeah. what you guys have for us this year that is taking that one extra level? All right. So for the last couple of years, we've actually been expanding uh, our our product range for mobile journalism and for you know using iOS devices and and things that you already have in your pocket to be able to record audio. So we still uh, have a lot of products that are. Uh, designed specifically around using with DSLRs uh, and mirrorless cameras where you don't have a great uh, audio circuit, but also leveraging the fact that you carry around a smartphone, you've got plenty of storage space on there, and you can use that as a digital recorder rather than just using your in-camera recording or rather than having a dual system audio set up that's bulky to carry around. Uh, so I'll go through a couple of the different things that we've released at the show and that we've just started shipping. So first, talking about DSLR audio, we've got the newest update to the Stereo Video Mic Pro. So this is the Stereo Video Mic Pro R for Rycote. Uh, basically what we've done is we've done away entirely with the uh, elastic suspension. Elastic suspension is very effective, uh, but unfortunately the elastic bands wear out over time. So we have now have, on most of our product range, we have the uh, Rycote Lyre suspension, which is a, an advanced thermoplastic that can't snap or break, uh, and it'll never kind of hold any bends if it gets like torn up in your bag or anything. So you can basically chuck it in and out of your bag the whole time, and it'll never actually pop out of its mount. Um, we've upgraded the, the windshield on the Stereo Vitamac Pro as well, so it's more effective in, in light kind of wind uh, scenarios where you don't quite need a, a dead cat yet. Uh, we've also upgraded the cable and it's got new capsules which gives it about 6 dB less self noise than the original version. Uh, so. For those of you that aren't familiar with the, the, the VideoMic Pro range, um, the main advantage of having a VideoMic Pro on your camera is that you have a plus 20 dB feature, and that enables you to get a really nice clean signal coming into the camera so that you can turn down the noisy camera preamp and get much nicer sounding audio. So for, for users out there who will have Rode Media Mics or Video Mics or Video Mic Stereo, if you have the chance, use the, video, the preamp in the mic and bring the, your your settings and your camera down because it, obviously this is a ro road. This is you know you guys do sound the the preamps on the microphone, especially the microphones they have you know uh, uh, batteries in them have preamps that are powered will give you much cleaner audio than the one you will get in, in your camera. Of course, yeah. This it's is like awesome. having a fast lens. You know, if, you, if you've got a fast lens, you can run a lower ISO with a fast shutter speed. It's like yeah. the same with your gain in camera. You want to run the gain as low as possible to get the nicest audio. So having a hotter signal helps you do that. Absolutely. Yeah, cool. So next, what we have is the iXLR, which is a uh, device that has an XLR input for a microphone uh, that goes to lightning and does its own uh, conversion on board so that you go in with a really high quality signal into an iOS device. It's designed mainly with like handheld reporting in mind, so situations like this, interview situations, you can plug directly into an iOS device. And we've actually just released an app, it went up on the App Store yesterday, called Road Reporter. You can get it from the App Store right now for free. Uh, and it's a very simple interface like this that you can actually use to record using the iXLR. So on the front of the iXLR, you can see that there is actually a, a little uh, volume knob here. And this is so that you've got headphone output that goes live from the microphone, and you can just check your critical distance the whole time you're interviewing and make sure that the mic is in the right spot. If you press that button, however, you'll see that the app immediately starts recording. And then that way, you can press it again. It'll pause the recording. And then if you want to end the recording, you can finish it on the actual device itself. So there's multiple different uh, modes for uh, actual conversion. So we've got a high-definition WAV file, which is a 24-bit 96K, which is a broadcast quality file. 
Um, you can run it standard 48 bit. Uh, 16-bit 48K files, or you can even record directly to compressed formats like MP3 or AAC. If you aren't sure how much space you've got left on your device, you, you maybe have an interview that might run for a long time. Um, it's, a, it's a nice way to get long record times with smaller file sizes. Right. That, that's a, especially like what you're talking about, the, the capabilities of controlling the recording from the actual mic. That is key, because it, when you are... Uh, ideally, when you're doing video production in a in a very like one hand one man band kind of kind of style, yep. you want to have your video going straight to your camera, so you don't have to worry about sending recording the record audio recorders and recording the camera, yep. things like that. But if you have the capabilities that in the mic that you're holding, press record, exactly. well, that makes a whole a whole much easier because you don't have to think about it. Exactly. So it's it's much more effective. Yeah. All right, and I can see that the the Rode I IXL IXLR has uh, monitoring capabilities too, so if you want to check the audio quality, you can yeah. do that right now. Yeah. Just from it's zero latency because it comes straight from the microphone and you're just picking off the audio straight away before it even goes into the conversion. So it means that you, you're not getting any latency, which would normally be inherent in any iOS device if you were trying to listen live through the device itself. That, that is excellent. And finally, we have uh, this thing that I have holding in my hand. You want to talk, yes. tell me about what this is? So this is this is a product that people have been waiting for for a long time. This is the Roadlink TX XLR. It's half of the news shooter kit. Now this is a, a 2.4 gig wireless transmitter that's designed to operate in the open spectrum, 2.4 gig spectrum, so you never have to worry about setting your frequencies because the device actually automatically chooses the best frequency and switches live while you're actually using it. Um, and it's, it's basically the most simple, uh, versatile system pretty much on the market when it comes to XLR input uh, devices. You've got an XLR input that supplies phantom power. You also have a TRS input for like a lav mic uh, and you can belt mount it with the little case that we supply with it uh, so that you can use a lav as well if you like. Uh, the powering options are fantastic. So it runs off standard AA batteries. That is awesome. So you can swap them out. Everybody's got rechargeable AA batteries in their, in their rig. Uh, but it also runs off the NPF standard batteries that a lot of lighting rigs, uh, audio recorders run off. So you can just simply plug in one of those NPF batteries and it works fine as well. So the powering options are uh, amazing on this, this unit. You can also power off a micro USB if you've got a more permanent setup. Um, you guys, you guys got the powering down for this system. I cannot tell you, as videographers, especially if you're traveling, having to worry about what batteries am I and do I need to bring, yep. what replacements, what battery chargers. So like, just giving all the options allows me for the flexibility that I can power this my mics with the same kind of like power that I power my batteries that I power my lights yeah. or you know the double A's. So it's just very very convenient. And the, even the you know USB that was like I was not expecting that. This is an awesome feature because you have, can have a like an external battery and you can just you know charge your your GoPro with that, but you can just look and charge this with that. It's really really good, really smart. Yeah. Yeah, exactly right. I mean, look, we're, we're shooters at Rode. We've got a big team of videographers, and, and a lot of the time when we're coming up with a new product, we think about all the things that bother us about the other products that we're using. So it's like whatever problems we have, we try to put the solutions into, into the products that we, we ship. You know, even the output, for instance, on the, uh, the receiver unit is a standard TRS output so that you can use it with multiple different devices. Uh, over the last few years, we've brought out a lot of different cables at Rode where you can basically run from any standard TRS output into an iOS device, for instance, uh, or you can take out iOS uh, products like the Smart Lab and plug them directly into a camera. Uh, so it makes it a, a very flexible system. We don't use proprietary connectors uh, on our products because we want to make it as you know easy to use as possible. If you've got a video mic pro and you want to wirelessly transmit it, you can plug it straight into this unit here, and you've got your receiver on camera, and it's just a super versatile system then. So. Yeah, it's, it's kind of the continuing you know, development of Rode is all about making audio easier because that's what everybody needs. These days you don't get away with poor audio on video. You need to have good audio. And there's so many ways that you can do it without having to invest you know, a, a huge amount of money into a, a dedicated you know, dual system sound rig or something like that. You can do it with the devices in your pocket. Absolutely. I mean, I think that as videographers, many times there's this thing about getting obsessed with gear, mm -hmm. but really gear is there just to get out of the way and let you tell your story, tell a message. So exactly right. Rod is a brand that is really stepping up and coming out with products that are, you know, making our, 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 our production and our workflow much easier, much streamlined mm -hmm. and really uh, allow us to produce the content and just put it out there.